Um, let me... Uh, Way. Um, and the next person to be recognized, I think, is Mr. Higgins. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, this should not be a heavy lift, this bill. <laughs> At some point, would it be okay if the Homeland Security Committee of the People's House focused on the Homeland Security of the people we serve? The strategy of the Chinese Communist Party is to subvert American culture and to weaken American economic stability. Our universities receive billions of dollars of American treasure in funding. The CCP infiltrates the university systems across the country, scientific and engineering laboratories, they steal the intellectual property of engineering and scientific advances that are born in those laboratories and deliver it back to China. And this, this cycle continues. So all this bill does is it identifies the Chinese entities of concern. There's a great deal of thought went into this. America should kind of grasp this. This is, this is clearly effective and well-written legislative language that would restrict American treasure from going through the Department of Homeland Security to fund university laboratories that are engaged with Communist Chinese Party known entities of concern. It's not a heavy lift. I think it's the American people recognize that our university systems across the country, they can hire who they want, but they don't have to receive funding from, from the Department of Homeland Security if they're using that funding to subvert the security of the nation. By doing business with, with in this case, identified as Chinese entities of concern, you're really talking about the Communist Chinese Party and their, their long-term goals and, and strategies to subvert American culture and to weaken American economic prosperity. They've very effectively been using our university systems for a long time. This transcends political affiliation. And through Clinton and, and W and, and Obama and Trump and now Biden, every administration through Democratic majority and Republican majority. This has been ongoing. We should at least be able to use the power of the purse as a body to restrict funding for universities that have crossed that line and are allowing Chinese communist spies into the laboratories that we're funding. So this is effective legislation, and I, I yield the balance of my time to my colleague, Mr. Peluger. And, Chairman, I'll, I'll yield back to you. The you gentleman yields. One sentence to me. Uh, I, if, if I may, Mr. Peluger, I, I yield to my, my colleague, Mr. You Bishop. may yield to Just, Mr. just a quick point of emphasis. And that university in question won't stop when asked by DHS. That's the only time this becomes operative. And, by the way... Once they stop, they get their money back. It says it right there. I don't appreciate the risk. In fact, it's a little tepid, Mr. Fluger. I mean, we're talking, we're only limited, we're still letting the Chinese Communist government come in here with their thousand talents under this. All this does is, is Chinese military connected entities. How, I don't understand why this is that hard. I yield back to Mr. Egan. You're reclaiming my time. I yield the balance to Mr. Fluger. Thank you. And uh, I think I've said all that needs to be said. I'll yield back to you.